Right then, welcome back today. Today we are hopefully doing the last race with these shitty supermotos. Um, I used the Husqvarna last time, so we'll use the Kawasaki this time. Everyone likes a bit of green, and we've got a race, a time attack, and a race. Now, my love for these, or hatred for these, is no secret. And the setups, I, I haven't even tried working out what it is. I always end up with all the energy and weight in the back tyre. So the back suspension is all over the place. I hit a curb. I'm off it. I just, I don't enjoy them. So I don't bother spending time trying to set them up. So this is what it is. The pretty short, sharp races. So. We've spanned it once, I've put a bit of a stiffer spring rate on the back end and we'll see what happens. a bit closer than I would have liked but it's done it's 33 33% of this event out of the way and next one is 
same attack at the Nurburgring on the short version of the GP course. Not the piddly little Mullenbach life or whatever it's called. No, that one's horrendous with a with a right hand turn where the bump is where well I always fall off but so be it. Now this one again the setup's all over the place. It's a pretty it's a pretty easy target. It's not it's not massively difficult as long as you don't fall off you should be alright so time attack one go done it's in the back. So, the third and final event, a race at Brands Hatch, and this is where I started to get a bit frustrated because the AI were quite fast and I'm quite slow on these things because they're shit and I don't like them, I don't know if I said that before, but I end up overriding the bike, I'm all over the kerbs, I'm running to the corners too fast, the setup's not right, the weight distribution's all to cock, he falls off, I panic, I fall off with him, and it just it ends up where I'm getting massively frustrated and doing stupid things so he touches me, look at the wobble and the person in seconds off again there's like some, a lot of sympathy falling off going off here, the wobble that we get on over the top of here and the bike just, it just builds and builds and in the end from the gravel so that's four crashes three of them pretty much out of sympathy and no matter what I did, whether I made the springs hard or soft and mucked about with the compression rebound, the bike just ended up doing the same, just wobbled them all over the place. So if someone can point me in the right direction, please do. I would very much appreciate it. But it's three laps at Brands Arch on a bike that's trying to kill me and well it is what it is.
And it's done. Done, done, done. Thank the Lord or whatever other deity you believe in for that. And if he hadn't have fallen off, or she, whoever it was, at the start of lap two in the lead, I don't think I was going to catch him. So I was having a little chuckle when they when they spanned it into the gravel. But it's done, and we get a shiny new toy, a Husqvarna 701. 700cc single. Wow. I hope they've... Uh, now oh, they've got some nice balance and weights in the uh, in the engine for that because that will shake your teeth out. But it's done. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave me a like, a comment, subscribe if you're enjoying it, and I, fingers crossed, will see you next time. Stay safe. Peace.